this is Anil with another video tutorial for the learning lag on C programming. In this video tutorial we are going to see the functions in C. A function is a collection of statements that is going to do some particular task. We can say that every C program is a collection of these functions. Ok, let's see the syntax to write the function. Let me copy and paste. Ok, to use a function or to define a function first we need to write the return type then the function name then within this parenthesis we have to specify the parameters for the function then within this curly braces we have to write the function body so this return type is the value that is written by this uh, function sorry the type of value so if you are returning an integer value from a function then you have to use this return type as int for floating value you have to use float and for character value you have to use cat and if you are not returning any value then we you have to use the keyword void the next thing is the function name so every function should have a name so we have to specify the function name after this return type the next thing is within this parenthesis we have to specify the parameters for this function a function can take any number of parameters if you want to pass uh, around 10 parameters you can do that so let's see how we can use a function in our program so in this video tutorial we're gonna write a function uh, called display and we're gonna print something from that function display so another thing is before using a function or writing a function we have to write the prototype of the function so uh, to do the prototyping we have to first write this return type then the function name it's going to be display here then within this parenthesis we have to specify any uh, parameters since display is not going to take any parameters we just uh, keep it blank then this void here means that our function display is not going to return any values next after this main function we're going to write our display function it's going to be void display then we have to write this function body here we just want to print something to the screen so we're gonna use a print function okay we're gonna write uh, this is printed by a function uh, a new line and save it all of you know that you know the execution starts from this main function and it ends here so if you want to use your uh, user defined function anywhere in your program then you have to call it inside this main function so here I'm gonna call this display function display then a pair of curly braces sorry parenthesis then a semicolon so here within this parenthesis if using any parameters in display function then we can pass that so in this case we are not using any parameters that's why we are we're gonna you know leave it blank so save it compile it and run it so as you can see here this is printed by a function the next thing I wanna tell you in functions is about this function prototyping by using this function prototyping we are informing the compiler that okay we are writing our own function which is called display and we're gonna define that function somewhere in our source code so here what happens if we you know don't use this function prototyping it, um, our compiler is gonna you know, scan all this code from here to here then it will come here and here it just came to know that okay we are using a function called display and from here to here it, it hasn't encountered a function called display that's why it thinks that okay this is an undefined function so it just gonna raise an error so to avoid that error we are using this function prototyping another thing we can do is we can uh, define this function display you know before this main function so I'm gonna cut that uh, print here so now we have deleted our function prototyping statement and we defined our display function before this main function so save it compile and run as you can see there is no change in the program 
that is because we are you know uh, using this function you know after declaring it so if we use a function before declaring it then we'll get a an error another thing I wanna tell you about functions in this tutorial is you can use this display function as many times you want so I'm gonna copy this display function and paste it two more times save your work compile it and run it so as you can see here we have called this display function three times another thing is uh, this main app is also a function so this main app is calling this display function similarly we can call this main function from this display function also the next thing is where we can use this function or when we can use this function and what are the uses of these functions so the uses of function is the function allows you to structure your code like modules uh, for example if you are writing a program which has to take some input and display it on the screen then you can differentiate that input part to in one function and that you know the display part to another function and you can use that so if, if any error is there in the input part you can easily track that error and solve it another thing is using these functions in your program makes it, it easy to write you know that's because you know by structuring that you can concentrate on the particular part at a time another use of functions is you can avoid rewriting the same code again and again for example in your in your program if you are calculating the area of a triangle again and again so if you are not using the function then you have to write the code same code again and again wherever you are uh, calculating the area so if you are using a function then you can place that uh, code in a function and we just ha have to call that function where we where you need it so this is it guys this is about the introduction to the functions in the next tutorial we're gonna see some more information about the functions thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you in the next tutorial